Yo, how's it going everyone, Raw here, and today we're going to be bringing you a Gears of War 5 news update and we're going to be talking about Ranked and what is going to be happening for the future and we're going to scroll what they posted just a minute ago guys, we're going to be seeing what they're going to be talking about, we're going to be seeing the updates and seeing what they have for the plans for the future, so uh, let me scroll down, let me read this to you guys and I'm just going to go over a few of the highlighted points and see how much stuff they've got to talk about. So guys, as a part of the ongoing improvements, we are evaluating all the aspects of Gears of War 5 and we continue to refine and improve the game. Some of these improvements will be addressed and tweaking existing designs in other areas. Bigger steps as needed for the game's foundations, simply put, not in the right place. Uh, we're all talking about the process and what can be addressed over the next couple of weeks and months uh, in more detail, but today we just want to focus on the rant. So there's a plenty of things they're going to be fixing uh, for Gears of War maybe not just ranked, might be matchmaking stuff, it could be uh, the content that's coming out, it could be like just literally more movement updates, it could be more weapon tunings, we don't know man but at the moment they're only going, when you're talking about the ranked system um, there's a few more things they want to say and what they're going to be doing so let me see, the ranked system is clear that it's not working and it's not delivering the experience that we wanted or expected. For players, we see the frustration and the lack of transparency and how it can be unfairly punishing to the situations uh, for the people who are playing ranked and it gets in their way of the enjoyment of the game. <laughs> That's facts right there, guys. Like, at least they're addressing this. Like, this is a huge, huge addressment, letting them, us know that they, they see our frustrations and they know that the ranked system doesn't work. We honestly come across absolute beasts, or they're not even beasts, they're just in stacks and they've got better paying or you come across P teams and you've got absolute muppets in your team and I'm talking about these muppets honestly man <laughs> it's crazy Um, I'm just really wanting to have fair battlefield you know I just want to jump in and just 10 random people if I'm playing solo I would love to just have 10 random people if I'm going in duos surely that shouldn't be too hard that a duo should be on our team and the other team um, and just mix with loads of randoms um, if I'm playing a five stack, I want to come across a five stack. I don't really care about this, like one person versus five. Like that is just ridiculous. I, I hate that. That is one of the worst things. And you know you've came across a four or five stack because you're getting absolutely crushed out, angled. You're getting. You just. You know it. You, you just know when you have come across a stack and you feel absolutely obliterated and punished, and your motivation is down at an all-time low. You know what I mean? It's just. It's awful. So. Um, that's good that they've addressed that and they are going to be getting that fixed. The plan is that we are fundamentally working uh, the entire rank. Okay, they're changing the whole system. Okay, that's cool. Moving away from the model that we have now to something that delivers a fun, clear, rewarding experience for the playing in ranked, whether alone or with a team. This process will take time. In the meantime, we are doing our utmost to improve your day-to-day -day experience with the ranked system we have today. That is fantastic. Coalition, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The immediate ranked improvements that we are going to see with the launch of Operation 3. So in a couple of weeks' time, these are going to be implemented in and we will hopefully see more improvements uh, as the time goes on. We're going to have split screeners that will be no be able to play ranked matches and also including 2v2. That is very, very great to see. I do not want split screeners playing ranked. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Players under 30 rank will no longer be able to play ranked matches unless they're playing with higher level players, uh, aka their friends, in a party. So that's decent, you know what I mean? Sometimes, I mean, you come across people and you've got low ranked players in your team and you just know that they're newly new and they're playing TDM or they've just jumped in and uh, they've kept from the game pass and they just don't know what they're doing I mean I would actually put that up even higher in my opinion that's just me I mean literally we could do like re-up one maybe even level 50 in my opinion but even though it's a little bit better than nothing you know what I mean so let's hope this uh, increases and stops the actual uh, matchmaking being so uh, disrupted and having really really bad teammates so we'll see in the addition, as early as possible into Operation 3, we hope to deliver uh, the greatly reduced chance of you gain zero and the minimal points from a ranked win. Stay tuned for the exact timing. Okay, so they are going to address this later on, hopefully as early as possible after the release of Operation 3. 
I mean, it's it's happening to me a few times. I'm not too bothered about it. I've kind of got past the stage of caring too much about my master's rank and stuff. I do just want to jump in and have fun and playing gears and just stream and uh, talk to you guys, play with you guys, and just have a fair game. But like this, like ranking system and matchmaking, it needs to go and it just needs to get fixed and just changed into into an easier way because it's just so difficult. And the things you can see, we're getting punished for it. Like, you win, you get MVP, you still lose points. It's it's a very, very, very frustrating uh, system that they've got there. So we'll hope to get that improved. While we know the weight rank overhaul may be frustrating and fundamentally we're reworking the design, the big process, we hope to show the commitment, pushing Gears 5 forward and supporting the game for a long time. That is awesome. Thanks for being on a journey with us. Um, we're giving us critical additional feedback that will help us uh, for the best gears game yet. We'll see you online, TC. I mean, guys, honestly, like this is important that we do give feedback as much as possible. We do give them videos like this if you are a content creator. Uh, obviously, on Twitter, tag them. Don't give, be giving them abuse. Like <laughs> for things to get better, you do actually just have to be um, more responsible with your what you're saying and have a bit of like decorum you know and just be be a bit civil because these guys are working i mean these are the people that are they took over gears of war and they are trying to bring us the experience and make the best games yeah yeah they've got a lot of problems yes they maybe don't do the best things and they, they don't put the best ideas out there aka the store and all this kind of stuff but i do agree, I, I actually do respect that they do this weekly updates most times and they do try and change things and make the gears community be solid and they, they are trying their best so um the future ranked that is an awesome one it's a good update i'm looking forward to it hopefully we will get to see some improvements and i won't be getting matched up with muppets <laughs> but guys thank you so much for watching i hope you have a great day speak to you guys in the next video peace out